What's going on guys? So today's video, I'm actually here in Atlanta, Georgia, southern USA for a conference called Menfluential and my friend here, his name is Benjamin but he also has the channel. I'm going to let him describe it. My channel is called Everyman and I basically help you to improve the way that you look and feel about yourself through men's style and grooming. So I do a lot of product reviews but never really that many on, on fragrances. So that's one of the reasons that I'm here today with Chad. So and uh, the only video that I think I've seen you do was one video on fragrances. Well, one video unfortunately. So I asked Benjamin <laughs> uh, as to what house that he would like to do because this is going to be, be a smell and rate and what house did you choose? Uh, Lacoste. So we're going to do a smell and rate on the house of Lacoste. Alright, so just like every other smell and rate, we go through X amount of fragrances. We got 14 here, so the video may be a little bit long to see which one is the ultimate winner according to his notes. According to my right? notes. <laughs> Could so be a controversial result, we'll so see. So the first one we're actually gonna go with is Lacoste L1212 Jaune or Yellow. So I don't have any test strips with me right now. I'll be getting some later today. Alright, so that one there, okay, and we're gonna pair it off against, uh, let's go with the decant, Lacoste L1212 Rouge or Red. So these are just, we're just getting your take on the initial spray. That people would say you need to wait for the dry note, which is kind of true, but. I mean, that yellow one smells very, very alcohol like as, as soon as this has come out. Yeah, so you gotta give it a few seconds yeah. to dry down, but I, I, I could smell it now. I mean, it's. Uh, it's alright. Okay, but this one or against this one here? So this is. Try this one. So it's uh, the red. So la le rouge. So which one do you prefer, though? So Lacoste, like you chose Lacoste out of three. I think I gave you John Bravado's Dunhill. I gave him some cheapies. So I'm just trying to knock out some of the cheapies, and he chose uh, Lacoste. But which one do you prefer? The red one. Uh, that second okay. one, definitely. So we're gonna go. Up, we're gonna pair it up against uh, Eau de la Coste L1212 Magnetic. So some of these I have never smelled in my life. So I got a few bottles, but they're mostly samples decants that I ended up getting from decantshop.com. So do you prefer that That's one? Interesting. Or do you prefer the Rouge? Most of Lacoste fragrances, uh, according to a lot of fragrance community members, they're they smell nice, but they're kind of generic. I find Lacoste, they're a good house for somebody who just is getting into fragrances. You know, they produce mass appealing scents, but to each their own. Probably that second, the one they've just introduced. Uh, okay. That, that newer one. So we're gonna go against L1212 Blanc or White. So what kind of fragrances do you generally wear? Like? Um, I generally wear this sort of heavy compliment getter, so a lot of the ones that women prefer the smell of probably than, okay. than men so, like Chanel. <laughs> okay. But, um, the Allure Home Spa is my favorite one probably, oh, just excellent. because it okay. smells sexual. <laughs> You're also young, I'm probably old enough to be your dad. So, the Blanc or the, the Magnetic? That Magnetic one. Oh. That other one, that, that smells very similar to the, to the yellow one. Okay. Which it smells okay, but the other one's better. All right, and uh, Lacoste Live. So live or the magnetic one. So if your nose gets used to it, just take a few. We'll take a, a pause. This is this is gonna be a close one. All right. Um. Still the magnetic one. So let's go with uh, the Noir L1212 Noir. You're lucky I can smell today. I couldn't use my nose yesterday, I've just got the smell back. <laughs> uh, well, you're going from a cold climate to a hot tropical climate pretty much. Atlanta is hot. That's why they call it Hot Atlanta. So, the Noir or the, the Black or the Magnetic? Yeah, another close one. I mean, again, that, um, that Noir smells like a, several of the ones I've already tried. It's very, very similar. Yeah, so a lot of these are running along the same lines. They will have yeah. some of the same DNA type, as we say. Probably the, the Noir one, oh. just about. Lacoste Sport Essential. Oh. So Sport Essential, which is smelling, or the Noir. Oh, it's very different. Okay. I can see this one being a bit more fe female appealing, probably, than the others that we've tried so far. I think women are probably like the sports essential, but I still probably prefer the, the noir one. So we did the sports one, so we're gonna go with the original. The original essential. So we call them flankers. This is the, actually the, the original, the one that Doug got booted out. It was like a part two, if 
you say it like that. Okay. Okay. Maybe the essential or the noir. That's very different, I guess. Probably still the noir, just about. Let's go. Let's just finish off the samples before we hit the bottles. This is challenge. So the challenge or the noir. Now I believe that this is the oldest scent from the house right now. So this one came out in the mid 90s I believe it was. A lot, a lot of these Lacoste ones are very similar to each other. Yeah, so they, as I stated they have, they go along the same lines and they have some of the same DNA. Turn away anybody that's just a regular fragster. So if you're yeah. far into your fragrance journey as we call it, the house really doesn't appeal to you. There's not much you like, none of these make a, a statement particularly. Yeah. Probably still the Noir one. This one here is the L1212 Blue. Blue. Lacoste is pretty much like a, a, a house that's good for a younger man who just is uh, really not into fragrances, but their fashion is overpriced. Oh, very much so, oh yeah. Nothing God. better than buying a, a t shirt for like 100 pounds. Oh, that's <laughs> ridiculous. So your nose is uh, maybe getting accustomed. Probably. Probably the blue one. Okay. Yep. All right. So the blue black one. had a good run. It did, yeah. So we're gonna go with that cost Redman. That one's, uh, that one's got some kick to it. So Redman or blue? I'll give it a second or two, and then yeah. It's like a almost fiery woody smell on that one. It's a little bit different than some of the other ones that you smelled. It is. I still. So for the, the blue one, it's the one I'd probably okay. wear out of the two. Alright. It's still alright though, that one is. So we're down to the last two, and we're gonna go with the bottles, alright? So this is Elegance. So I recently did a video of this one, but I just ended up deleting it. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't happy with the quality of the video as to how it turned out. Here's a mini review <laughs> of a non-fragrance expert, let's see. <laughs> it's all in my hand, so Elegance or Blue? Blue, still. Okay. All right, blue still. And the final one is going to be Lacoste pour homme, or for men. Final one. All right. So which one is going to be the winner? The blue or this one here? Blue or pour homme? Oh, it's close between them two. Oh. Okay. Now one's summer and one's winter. Which one? I'm not going to say. <laughs> <laughs> so. Oh god, this is difficult. Alright. And the suspense. Pro probably. Uh, <laughs> the suspense here. This is difficult. This is probably the best two for me anyway. Okay, alright. Out of all the ones we've tried. And um, probably. Probably the poor arm just edges it. Yeah, that's the Bam. champion. So the winner is Lacoste Poor arm. Why is this one? The winner. Um, I don't know, this is something that for me I could probably wear more than the other one. Okay. For the stuff that I do, for the type of things I wear. This is a more versatile fragrance though. It's a, we, call it a yeah. cheap, we call it a cheapie, so it really doesn't uh, cost all that much if you get it online. This is the winter one. Uh, this has notes of plum, I think there's a vanilla note to it, and a boozy accord. So I don't yeah. know if it's rum or what, but there's definitely like, when you said alcohol, you smell like the alcohol. Yeah, I was like, well, okay, is it the alcohol, like the synthetic <laughs> or is Probably it the, the boozyness? <laughs> but there's definitely, there's definitely a, some vanilla -y stuff in there. There's a there is, note yeah. for sure, and there's a boozy accord. So the the winner is, gentlemen, La Coste Pour Homme. Pretty big money for money. Yeah, Thank yeah. you very much for doing the video. I'm going to attach all of his links down below, so guys, so make sure you check him out. So I'll attach your Twitter, all your social media, whatever you have, so I will attach them. So again, make sure to check them out. So guys, thank you for your time, take care, and we'll see you later. Goodbye.